Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Michelle is my name. If it's your first time here, hi and welcome. Today we're just doing makeup. I feel like I always do makeup the same exact way every time. So now today I want to try and do something different. I want to try and pick out a lot of things that I've seen from other people and try and, you know, incorporate them in my routine just to see what it will be like you know and what it will look like so obviously this is what came out of all of that so i hope that it, it's something that i will enjoy and like i'm not really sure that i love it but as i wear the makeup throughout the day maybe i'll actually fall in love with it so let's see throughout the night not throughout the day because it's it's already night so let's see how it goes okay and um, if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing I do makeup videos and I do a bit of you know lifestyle vlogs and you know a few other things <laughs> which I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to give and how much I want to give so if you enjoy what you're seeing so far please consider subscribing to my channel and I guess I'll see you guys no I will see you at my outro yeah all right so let's get straight into the video so for us to get a nice flawless base we need to make sure that everything looks as even as possible even underneath the foundation so i'm going to start going in with a color corrector i don't typically use this like not on a daily because i feel like sometimes it's not that serious and it's fine but today i think because I want it to be perfection, it will be necessary to use this. And I don't use too much, and as I pounce my sponge, I do it very lightly, so it doesn't take off the corrector. Some people wait and give it like time to dry a little, so they can do this but I think I prefer to just do this straight away because I am going in with foundation anyway so right now I'm just going to go in with a darker concealer because I feel like that could also and I learned this from what's her name oh I want to say oh I forgot her name there's a night Okay, let me not describe it that way, but there's a lady on YouTube who showed me that you could actually, who showed me, <laughs> who basically sh showed on her channel that you could use a darker concealer to hide dark darkness, like dark circles or anything around your mouth and yeah, basically kind of even out that that um darkness and then go in with a highlight concealer so i'm going to actually try that i never tried that what's her name i know her she's nigerian hmm, i forgot today for foundation i want to mix two of them i know it's not even i know everything is not even but that's fine that's totally fine it's okay we're going to fix it and now I'm going to go in with this foundation Urban Decay shade 80 NN and I'll just mix it up with this one from NARS which one is this uh, radiant natural radiant longwear foundation I'm just gonna mix that apply that everywhere I'm just gonna speed through this part because you guys have seen it tons of times before so usually I use the shade spice drum but now today I'm just going to go in with chestnut first and it's a little bright but that's what we want today. That's what I'm trying to achieve today. So then after that, I'm going to 
Let me try. This is LA Girl um, Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. I want to see if this is a much yellower shade. Uh huh. It's much more golden. So, like I said, usually I go in with Spice Drum and and chestnut but today I just want to try something different I'm not putting too much of it just a little and then we're going to blend with this other side this other side I would naturally let the concealer sit for a bit but with this one, because it's so bright, for me, it's so bright, I try not to let it sit for too long. So the next thing we're going in with is contour. <laughs> I got lost for a second. And I'm just going to do this on, at the back of my hand, spread it out, and then pick up a brush And just kind of spread it out so even it out so it's on the brush evenly on the brush I want it to show up but I don't want it to be too harsh as well after I've blended my highlight and my contour I'm going to add another concealer just one more and this is light So just a teen says, okay, not too much. I think I've seen this on Jackie's channel. She basically just layers up colors and colors and colors of concealers. And I think, I, I mean, it's my first time trying it, but I think it actually turns out good. So we'll see how it looks. And I've just put very little. I know usually some people go in this area, but I don't want it to be too close to my eye, so. And I'm pouncing the sponge really softly at this point. Like I said, it's my first time, so I'm still kind of scared of doing too much. And I'm just keeping it right there in that area. I feel like my skin is so textured lately. It's so textured lately and I feel like I've done everything that I should. But it's still so textured. I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to do. Alright, so now we're going to powder and I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me powder mixed with um what is it called? The RCMA. Before I do that, I'm just going to go back and blend that area. Alright, so before I set the rest of my face, I'm going in with Sephora Micro Smooth in the shade 60 no 56 just to again brighten the under eye with a small brush so I can get it precisely where I want it to be just in that area and then for the rest of my face I'm going in with Sephora again in the shade 60 and I'm going over my whole face I'm bronzing with uh, the Black Radiance True Complexion. This, however, is not as dark as I would like it to be because if you want to look like really chiseled, you also want to use like a, a slightly darker concealer. Uh, sorry, um, a slightly darker contour shade. And this is not as dark as I would like it to be but it's probably the only thing i have i mean i could use eyeshadow but i just 
just don't want to go through all of that so I'm just going to stick to this so let's see what it looks like when I'm done it does the job it gets the job done I feel like sometimes when you do your makeup when you look at it in person it looks fine it looks it shows up but on camera people tend not to see what you're doing I don't know why I feel like you have to put a ton for people to actually see you know for it to actually show up on camera so I really hope that you guys can see this because I don't want to put a ton ton I just want to do it as I usually would in real life <sighs> it's been a while since I did a makeup video I feel like I don't know what I'm doing yep that's how I feel like I don't know what I'm doing just going to try and be very very what Ugh, I forgot what I wanted to say very light-handed I'm going to try and be very light-handed I want this to be glowy as well I'm trying basically trying everything that typically I would be afraid of doing so a bright highlight a like using your highlighter really glowy highlight you know so yeah everything that I would shy away from doing is what I'm doing and this is just blush it's a pink blush from Nas I don't think they have this shade anymore and I don't know how to pronounce the name ghoul ghoul I think it's ghoul I don't think they have this shade anymore it was a sample size. Oh, and I'm going in, 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 in. I use my blush to blend the highlight. Also, I feel like usually I do my blush till somewhere there. And I'm trying to maybe go in to my cheeks a little more, just kidogo, not too much. Just kidogo and doisika and nikama. You're a clown, but at the same time, I want it to actually show up where it's supposed to be. So this is the final look. Um, I just made it with a nude. This is the Sephora lipstick in the shade. 39 and um, I went a bit subtle on my lips because obviously my eyes are a little bold so I decided to just you know just mellow it down with the lips so yeah this was basically just a video to do you know just to do makeup because I feel like I haven't done makeup for so long that I I kind of forgot my steps and I wanted to just try something different I still have concealer <laughs> I wanted to try something different um, that I don't really typically do so I don't know if I love it though because I feel like usually because my skin is textured I am afraid to bring anything that will bring attention to this area right here so anything that will enhance my pores and just make it look even more textured I shy away from and that includes like highlights and blush anything that has shimmer um, anything that is too bright that directs the attention there I I shy from I shy away from so this is it was a good try it was a good try maybe later on I'll be like okay it's it's fine it's nice but I for now I really don't know so <laughs> I'm just you know I'm, I'm glad that I'm trying something new out of my comfort zone so that's good so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys 
enjoyed doing the makeup with me because that's all it was there was nothing else <laughs> and i'll see you guys on my next video all right goodbye god bless you